Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm going to go over with you a few pointers on taxonomy, which is a very important topic for the DAT and the old exam. None of this bullshit is really going to make you any money, um, but it'll help you on the DAT and the old. It's not going to help you become a better optometrist nor a better dentist, but we got to do it. It's boring. Let's get it out of the way. Usually for the DAD, old, or MCAT, we're going to consider five kingdoms. Plus, I'll refine that for the newer um, classifications. Let's review Animalia. What, what's there? First of all, I wrote down a tennis player would be a good example of something in Kingdom Animalia. My favorite ones would be Jimmy Connors, Bjorn Borg, Ilya Nastasi. None of you slackers even know what I'm talking about. So I won't even go on. I'll move right along. Another good example of something in Animalia would be a reptile. What are some examples of reptiles? Snakes, alligators, turtles, lizards. Amphibians, always a dad question, an old question. They include things like toad, salamander, frogs, newts. If you go to my bio notes, you'll see some nice pictures of those guys. Monotremes, that's a new one. What's a monotreme? That's an egg-laying mammal. A good example would be like an anteater or a platypus. An echinoderm, if you remember, the echinoderms would be like the starfish. That would be a great example of an echinoderm. These guys were deuterostomes. If you remember, the deuterostome means that the anus forms, then the mouth. So the first opening to form is the anus, then the mouth, in contrast to protostomes. So don't forget, chordates, which mean like vertebrates, um, as well as echinoderms, um, these guys are deuterostomes. Hydra is also, that's a tough one. That's in Kingdom Animalia. A hydra, that's those little organisms with tentacles. And if you remember, the stinging cells were called what? Nematocysts. It's a sure bad test question. The nematocysts are those stinging cells. Here's a really good one in Kingdom Animalia. A Tino 4. We've got a good question going on the study group. These are the comb jellies, and they use those sticky cells. They don't have nematocysts as their stinging cells, but they have what's called coloblasts. Have a look at them. They're really cool looking. These are the tenophores. The platyhelminthes. The platyhelminthes are the flatworms. The nematodes are the roundworms. So we want to make sure we keep this in mind. If I give you something of a flatworm, if you remembered, these are the organisms that do not have a body cavity or the acelomates, acelomates. How about protista? These are mostly unicelled eukaryotes, with a few exceptions, but mostly unicelled. They include our amoeba friend, if you remember. They had the pseudopodia, paramecium had the cilia, the euglena. What did the euglena have? Remember, that was the flagella. Most algae, most algae are considered protists. Be very careful of that question. You may thank me someday for it. Protists go with algae um, for that. Slime molds, like a myxomycetes. These are slime molds. Sli in contrast to a regular bread mold. So a slime mold would be under protista. That's a little tricky. Fungi, sure bet. Fungi, if you remember, have cell walls made of chitin. Be very careful of that. So if you had an infection versus bacterial versus fungals, you could see because their cell walls are different, we can develop drugs to be able to destroy the cell walls. Chitin is in fungi. They include mushrooms, yeast, bread mold, mildew. So these guys are all in fungi kingdom. Make sure in my study notes you're clear on a mycelium and a hyphae. Those are very important test questions. Mycology, as you all know, is the study of fungi. How about kingdom plantae? Well, that's an easy one. You got the word plant. Cellulose is in their cell walls. Um, they include the bryophytes, which are the mosses. The flowering plants, if you remember, angiosperms, which include fruits and flowers we talked about. Non-flowering plants, if you remember, we'll call the gymnosperms. So that's a pretty easy one. So if I gave you a a rose, and I say what kingdom, that's obviously plantain. Kingdom Monera is, was usually, and I think for the dad, it's still a safe bet, go with bacteria and blue-green algae for those two. 
Now, the blue-green algae, if you remember, were one of my favorites. These are called the cyanobacteria, and these were photosynthetic, which means that the theory is that they gave the early Earth, or was a major contributor to give oxygen to the early Earth. So the cyanobacteria from Kingdom Monera. Now, the new, just to put a fine point on this, these guys are always refining things. Kingdom Monera has sort of been divided into a newer way, into what's called a domain. Now, a domain is a group of kingdoms. I kind of like it. Usually I don't like to go against tradition, but I kind of like it because it's, it divides into bacteria, which are mostly the prokaryotes that we talked about, and they have peptidoglycan in their cell walls. The archaea, never know how to spell this goddamn word. All right, I'm, I think there's another AEA on it. But at any rate, the archaea are also considered prokaryotes. Um, they live in harsh environments such as hot springs, volcanoes, salt mines, oil wells. Be very careful of these guys. They're non-pathogenic. As the last that I looked at, they don't cause disease. So these are sort of good guys. They live in these harsh environments. But the big difference is they do not contain, they have cell walls. So we're going to classify these um, with prokaryotes, but there's no peptidoglycan. They have other proteins. Some scientists have suggested we call it pseudopeptidoglycan. But no peptidoglycan in their cell walls. So in addition, we have bacteria, we have the archaea, and the eukarya, and these other organisms with the true um, nuclei in their cells. I hope that helps giving you an idea of a wide open area. Um, go to my bio notes and the new issue with the destroyer and I think we got all the classification stuff that you're gonna need for the dad, all right? Today we're gonna move on to Gen Chem. Um, we'll be at the three quarter mark today and from this point on, um, next section, I think we'll do the bio. So we'll be going over all the bio with you, all right? All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.